Welcome back to Switch Corner. Today we have a new weekly series for you, breaking down collections of Switch eShop hidden gems. I do a lot of deals on this channel as well as reviews, so I wanted to take a chance just each week to highlight five that, you know, might have just simply gone missed from the thousands upon thousands of games we have to choose from on the eShop. This way I can basically give you just like a quick fire opinion, why I like it and what sort of gamers out there might be a perfect fit for it. So with that, hit subscribe if you love the Switch as much as we all do here, join our growing family and let's get started. So the first game to kick off this series, and an absolute gem, hence the name of the series, but Atomic Run Gun Jump Gun. This one, it has a minimal storyline, honestly. It's about stars collapsing, and in turn, they're swallowing whole planets, you're escaping. But what you come here for is absolutely the gameplay. Now, I will admit, this one does have a twisted sense of humour, but I just wouldn't say it's going to be, like, groundbreaking, the storyline you do get. With only two buttons, so it sounds simple. That's shoot down and shoot forward. But like so many games out there, this is a whole lot more challenging than you may think as you're navigating over 120 stages that just progressively get harder introducing both enemies and some seriously, seriously intimidating obstacles. Graphically speaking, stunning. It's got this retro pixel vibe washed in neon and I'm a big fan of neon if you haven't noticed the Switch Corner logo. But while it is simplistic in its visuals, the variety is huge. To top all of this off then as well, I don't think you will be surprised to hear it as this like fast-paced electronic soundtrack that just matches the intensity of the gameplay. I'm a big fan of Run Gun Jump Gun and it's more than worth the budget price point. Just know that with this one you need to be a fan of games like Super Meat Boy, Jump King and the like because this one for sure will get you screaming at the screen. So next up then to the moon. I spoke about this on a deals video quite recently and I want to take the chance now just to reinforce just how good this game is. This one, unlike Run Gun Jump Gun though, is all about storyline. Here you'll be following two doctors, Dr. Rosaline and Dr. Watts, who have, let's say, an unusual skill set. The ability to essentially invade a person's mind and then give them another chance at life. It basically means they're replacing your memories with your dream scenario for life. So in this case, it's an elderly man by the name of Johnny who dreamt of going to the moon. This surgery, though, it is so invasive, it will be the last thing they ever remember because at the end, they will draw their last breath. Styled like an old school RPG, though, this is purely story, navigation, and the occasional, occasional puzzle moment. But the story here, it will just get you. And not only will you find one amazing refute after another if you search for them, but here are stories of laughter, tears, and just self-reflection. It's an incredibly touching piece of work that for me very much reinforces the idea of, you know, games as art. On top of this then as well, the soundtrack, quite honestly, a masterpiece and worth checking out on YouTube, even if you don't get the game. This, in my opinion, it's one of those rare 10 out of 10 experiences and 35,000 people agree with me over on Steam. So another one I've reviewed on the channel for you pint and click fans out there after party. Here you'll be taking on the role of Milo and Lilo, two graduates who have yeah, recently found themselves deceased and landing in all places, but how? Having absolutely zero desire to stay here, and understandably, there is a way out. They need to outdrink Satan and he'll grant you passage back to Earth. With this one, it might come from the team that made the incredibly, like, gentle oxen free, but no going into this one. They've brought along like a whole new crude sense of humor, a ton of swearing. So yeah, this one's adults only, but it's just so funny and the humor just absolutely worked for me and landed like nearly every time. Graphically then, it's got a nice comic book vibe to it all, which brings the colors just by the boatload. The soundtrack also is good stuff as well. And then the gameplay, it's yes, point and click, but you have, you know, full control over movement. And there's also multiple dialogue options. I always felt involved with what was, you know, happening. Really like this one. And it goes overlooked when you hear folks talk about the adventure genre on the console and it deserves a little more love. Next up then, a game with possibly the best soundtrack on the Nintendo Switch. This game, it is Ape Out, and it combines jazz-like rhythm with utter destruction. Taking on the role of an ape, and clearly the title ape, it gives you zero story, but the name tells you it all. You're escaping from somewhere not so nice, 
And yeah, this is just a masterpiece from Devolver Digital who seem to have released just one piece of genius after another. The idea overall is simple, just navigate locations, you know, find your way to the end and along the way squash your enemies with your fists, crush them with objects around the environment, or even get a hold of them and use their firepower against each other. There is absolutely no other game on the Switch that quite looks like this or even feels as stylish as this. And that soundtrack, it's dynamic. That's what makes it so interesting, meaning every single strike that you land results in a drum beat or a cymbal. And it just encapsulates the anarchy in a way I've never really seen before. Ape Out is an absolute must add to your library. So our final game of the week then, one I reviewed pretty recently actually, but Levelhead. This is an incredible platformer that owes more than a little bit honestly to Super Mario Maker. Here you are an employee of the Levelhead division, responsible for training your very own GR18 delivery robot. Now how do you do this? By guiding them through levels, a smart ass acronym meaning limited exercises for evaluating employee limitations. While it does contain a huge single player portion or training course as they call it, it's like 90 levels plus, it's really the online play you're coming to this one for. Like Mario Maker, these levels, these courses can be made by you in a really intuitive level creation tool and then there must be thousands upon thousands of them for you to explore online. Level Head, I can say this, it has an extreme extremely passionate fan base and thanks to cross platform cross play cross save as well actually this one has a long life ahead of it you can even play local co-op up to four players with a stunning visual style though a great level editor and just a ton of content this one is extremely impressive considering it was made by a tiny tiny team and it's just as content rich as the mighty mario maker which i imagine has a monster team just don't start the conversation of what's better this or mario maker that's a bad place to go in a lesson i learned simply from observing the comments on the review i did of this very game. And that's our first five and you can expect this series every single Tuesday. Let me know if this is the sort of content you do indeed like to see. It just gives me a chance to get something a little bit more quick fire out midweek before I start doing the reviews. I normally drop around Thursday and Friday. Finally, I do want to say a quick thank you to the patrons of the channel. The support there has been just honestly amazing. With another one actually joining since this morning's video, the review of Catherine. Check that out if you haven't already. But yeah, thank you all so much. You don't know how much it truly helps. And moving forward, I'm going to start to gather more feedback there on what videos you all want to see. With that though, hit subscribe if you love the Switch as much as we all do here. Join our growing family. And yeah, I'll see you all on the next video. Thanks everyone.